Hello everyone, this is Gamer and welcome back to Late Shift. Um, I am making another new game of this because the last game I played, it was I got the bad ending. So let's try to get the good ending or the true ending. Hopefully we can get either one of those. Uh, so what can I do differently that I haven't done before? Ooh, that's a nice screenshot. Screenshot that, yes. Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow. Endless and meaningful. So what I can do is be nicer to that lady in the garage. So instead of asking why, I'll just say yes. And I'll just be like, you know, one of those fallen guys that's like okay i'll give you the keys you look pretty the random fractals of a selfish queenless hive never looking never stopping never meeting joe sour butts yeah what kind of last name is sour butts i'm not trying to be rude or anything but is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off. Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything in the latter? Idle minds. Too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind. No, that isn't 80% chance. This is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me. Uh, this train. Never underestimate the. Oh, humanity. help him! Help him! Bond Street. Bond Street. It's on the other platform. Ooh, made it. Oh, we're. Oh, this is set in England, isn't it? London. That's cool. London, England. London is the city, not England. Get it right, people. Jesus. Written by Tobias Weber and Michael Robert Johnson. Directed by Tobias Weber. I mean, Tobias Weber, sorry. Right. There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos <sighs> look at you my beauty you could keep me in college for over a decade the butterfly doors damn that's a that's that is a sexy car careful the way he saturates it with his ego Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Man, this job's boring. Turn him into an aggressive person, huh? Oh, here she comes. 
forget something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before. You know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. <laughs> Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. <laughs> what are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. <laughs> Can I help you with something? Uh, I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Huh? Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? Yep. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. Mm. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Oh. What's in it for me? I won. Won what? One favor. Oh, I know you're good for your favors. You can bank my favors. Oh, okay. Fuck. Sure, I'll be nice. How can you say no to that? She sounds nice. Yeah, she could be a double crosser, but what the hell? Huh? What? It's nothing. Not a scratch, not a stain, nothing. All right? You fiddle with your lipstick outside of the car and you wipe your shoes before you get in. Anything else? Yeah. You're back here by one, not a minute later. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, snap! I forgot about that maniac guy! Oh shit, I forgot about him. Get over here. What for? Now. I feel like I'm about to do something stupid. I what feel like it. Me? I want you to tie her up. I can drive. Great. Get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're gonna do. All right, all right, all right. I'm surprised he didn't shoot me after that pepper spray thing. I'm surprised. He's actually a nice criminal. In real life, people would have bust a cap in your bust a cap in your ass. In real life, people would have put a bull in your head if they did if you did that to them. Okay, drive, 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 drive. Okay, this is serious. If I try to run, he's gonna shoot the hell out of me.
here. Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure I'm checking you inside. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and anyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. You need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. Whoa! I, I don't know who you guys are or what you're up to, okay? I'm not gonna say anything to anyone. Well, it's not gonna take you long to figure it out, is it? Well, no, not if you keep talking in front of me, it won't. It'll be on the news, smart ass. I'm not a murderer, I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. What? Diphenoxin? What the fuck is that? You guys would have had eggs like you. Hold oh, still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key, what the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is it fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, I'm not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. Money man. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. So what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find you something. Party, party, party. I don't know, man. Oh, the London Bridge. London Bridge is gonna fall down tonight. Meaning, this place is gonna get rocked up. You know what I mean? Three ladies and difficult choices. So much for the quiet night. I know, right? I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared. That's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What on your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. 
Hmm. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Oh, I know what to do here. Nine Last time I stopped her, for, I intervened with her bidding, but this time I can keep, let her keep on bidding. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll let her keep on bidding. Nine forty. Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred fifty thousand pounds, this marvelous twelfth century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is one hundred and fifty grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it out of I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. <laughs> <laughs> try not talking at all. So we come to what I feel. Grandma got triggered. Highlight of our sale this evening, lot two four seven, and to introduce it. First, I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Tran. Katie. What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of the red there. phoenix pattern. Simon known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank Bruh, you. Sebastian looks like an NCP from Hitman. A truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Crick on afford it. Crooked bastard. And so we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the sale you, price, don't the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank stop you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him. Talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fault? Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear... Ten Bruh, five. this dude looks like rice gum. <laughs> ten five I have. No shade, though. I'm serious, though. He looks like rice gum. Do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. Again, thank you, madam. Ooh! Eleven, your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay. so... Because, you know, price we have eleven five. Of logarithmic curve, derivative eleven five. Zero, so the chances of getting away with another bid... bid. Eleven, madam. Well, eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five. I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now. Bid. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five. With you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. Eleven five. Let her do it. Eleven five twice. Twelve million. I have. Thank you, man. Twelve. It is. So do I hear twelve five? We got a team for that. Nice. 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? 
unlucky 13. What you looking at, rice gum? Are we all out? At 12.5. Keep going. I'm selling. Oh no, we're stopping. 12.5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right, for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Well, that was thrilling. What you looking at, Betty White? I mean, old lady. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, but mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Yep. What? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? I'm not gonna screw this up. Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You're just at the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. Oh, a little frame right there. That was weird. I never had that problem before. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out to the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, where's the guard's image? He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Alert the guard or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Play along. Because if you screw this up, then everything's going to get fucked. Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Sebastian, Hitman NCP looking mother. Got the trolley! Got the trolley! Get him! Yes! That worked out well. Oh, I did not expect this. 
to go that smoothly. High five. <laughs> I have to admit, I wouldn't have thought you'd live up to the task. Thanks, I guess. And as far as I can see, you're beginning to like playing this game. Hmm, kinda. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't. Play. It is a little thrilling. What is up with these frame rates? I have never had this problem before. Why am I getting the frame rate stuff all of a sudden? I mean, it's not that big of a dip. It just dips down like 49 frames. That's all. Not that big of a dip. Let me see it. I want to see the bulk. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some sort high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. Sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! And boom. Whoa. That could have went better, but I'm glad it didn't go better because if it did went better, I probably would have been dead. Mei Ling. Mei Ling. Mei Ling, can you hear me? Wake up. Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. Everybody in that damn car is dead. Except for Matt and uh, Mei Ling. Was that blood? That is blood on the pillar. Oh my gosh, she's bleeding out of her head. That's it. Jesus. We need to get away from here. Where are we going? Mr. Woos. Take this ball to Woos to finish what you started. Mr. Woos? Yeah, well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling! Shit, the cops are here. Convince her! We need her! Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, okay? You have to do something. Take her. Oh, get out of here! God, freaking missed calls. People are calling me in the middle of recording. I hate that. Yes, we got Mei Ling with us. Yes. You okay? Oh, it's your foot? Okay. I mean, not your foot, your knee. 
I mean, not knee, I mean shins or whatever. Dang it, I don't know my body parts. <laughs> Hong Kong City Chinese restaurant. Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone. Table for four? Four of me, please. It's going well. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Bar this way. Four of me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, it's Mr. Wu here. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory query. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. A fortune cookie. <clears throat> Take fortune cookie. How can you say no to fortune cookies? Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better. I say you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Hmm. Yes, take one. How can you not say no to fortune cookies? I love fortune cookies. Not tell him. Four of me, please. Tell me. No. <laughs> That's actually funny. That's a little funny moment right there. Even after all the seriousness, it's funny. Sometimes. Could they while you're gone, you yet to go? That's him. Go on. Damn, I wish I know some Chinese. Unfortunately, I don't have any Chinese family members. I only, only have one Filipino member. And that's my grandma. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Managing to steal that ball is quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order, not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, Possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! Yeah, let's get out. What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. Dead. If you destroy it, you're dead. You are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. dead.
Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Corday Tohoi! Please don't blow my brains out. Please do not Goodbye. blow my brains out. We will not meet again. D don't put a bullet in my head. Please don't put a bullet in my head. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, good. Thank you. Fucking great. I still want to know what my fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? <sighs> you fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything we just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I okay. Okay. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. Frame jump there. That was weird. It went from 60 to 62. That was odd. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That's a nice little Mr. and Mrs. Smith reference. Mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Well, damn. Go for it. Star Crust. Oh! Okay, now. I'll show you some percentages. Bow chicka wow wow. Oh, the TV's a cock blocker.
Oh, he's dead too. Fucking hell. We got company. Oh, I didn't break the window before. Break the window, break the window. Yeah, I didn't do this before. Yeah, break the window. Nice. All right now, go, 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 go. How did I get down before her? Go, 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 go. Oh shit. Okay, okay, here, here's the ball, here's the ball. I trust you, I trust you, I trust you. What? 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 Oh god. Okay, good. We're out of there. Man, slow down. I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. Mm, that's kind of inside-ish, kind of. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it's not a real one. Because it was a fake. Yeah, I remember from the last time I played this. Oh, oh, so what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who forged it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lied to just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Just trust her. You have no choice. Okay. Just calm down. Okay. These are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay? I make the decisions, and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Oh my god. Wait, the guy who was selling the boat? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. I wish there was a way I could get rid of my phone call notifications on my phone, on my computer. The choice. To keep for himself. You didn't believe that though, did you? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit. Where is the original now? I don't know. I can see Palm must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At the Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfectly you like, but you just can't fake these reports in. Dating is based on the fact called thermal luminescence. 
Yeah, it is a process to determine when the pulse is fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? Fuck me. You mean... I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pass. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Oh no. So sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's Hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. Choices batter, 13 out of 14. Oh, so this is the alternate. Okay, cool. Hopefully, I'm. I hope I get the good ending out of this. Because before I was by myself. Hi. You, um, you work here. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Oh, I'm sorry, you got involved. Well. What was I doing there anyway? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, no. Uh, no, Sebastian the clerk, I'm afraid. Maybe they took him to Guy's. That was a lie. Excuse me? <gasps> Just like you lied in the garage? About Dr. Brent knowing you were taking his keys? <sighs> Come on, Matt. Let's try the other desk. Wait. Shit. No? She can't tell you anything because he was brought in by the police. She won't be able to tell you he's on the seventh floor, and she certainly won't be able to tell you he's in room 703. Thank you. What? I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, who's the girl? Oh. 
I know from work. She works here? No, my work. Her boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? Oh, you wish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's some moments in this game that's so funny. <laughs> they want me use the internet. <laughs> oh my god. I know. You must be like 80, right? No, no, no. I think I just worked out how Paul got the bowl out of the auction house. What? Come on. <laughs> He's like 80, right? <laughs> That's a lie. I know what you did, Sebastian. Past cabinet. One he bought right before the bowl was auctioned. On the secret compartment. Yeah, that's right. Perfect place to hide a poor magazine. The forgery was hidden inside right before the auction, wasn't it? And then afterwards. You swapped it for the original. You're the only one who could have done it, Sebastian. The only one. Peter, what do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If, if I tell you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Alright, boy. Okay. Just you and me now, mate. Now, where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last one I'm gonna ask you nicely. Okay. I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. In the end compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? It's supposed to be inside. I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. To go back to Ainsworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we. Oh, he's French. Do. 
What was that? <laughs> what did you say? Oh, it's just noisy. Look out! Oh no! What? Oh man, I thought I was going to get kidnapped again. Mate, what the fuck happened? We have her. You find her. Bring her to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring her to the lobby of our hotel. It's by 9 tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. Oh man. Damn. This sucks, but at least I'm not kidnapped. But still, that sucks. That Ma Maylene's gone. Oh god, they better not kill her, man. They better not kill her. Right. Go up because last time we tried the card, it didn't work. Okay. All right, this last time I left, but I'm going to continue. I need to find the info. Oh, yes. You found it? Yeah, that's it. Ground floor. Car park. You don't work here. Picking up. Mr. Quinn sent me down. Oh shit. Do I look shifty? The car park's just too low for me. Thank you. Thank you. putting a lot of stuff in that van. Maybe we should check out the van. I know it's risky, but we should check it out. Go 
Go for the van. Go for it. There you go. That's a lot of fucking money. I could just walk away with this. Except. Hello. It's me. Mate. I don't have much time. Have you got the ball? Yeah. I'm in the back of eight to a fan. I've got it in my hand. Don't bring it here. What are you talking about? They're going to fucking kill you. Why can't you do that anyway? I need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. <sighs> Any suggestions? We need to get part of this. Salsi. Salsi, no. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? Go to Pa's. Now's my chance. Because last time I went to the choice, I... The May Mayling got killed. I remembered. No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Yeah, I got it. Bring it to us. No, not you, mate. I want to speak to the chief psycho. I can't believe we got out that easily. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Parr. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. I see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't. Mr. Power. Uh, thank you, Willow. I'll deal with this. That woman looks like Celine Dion, kinda. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? Well, the bomb that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Audrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? This is the copy. Don't think it was so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognize her own work when she sees it. You paid her to do it. So she won't mind me destroying it? Even with the choice still on the rampage. You think I'm worried about that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's find out. That would be unwise, wouldn't it? Not with the choice on the rampage. Mm. Smart move. Now, where is my original? Mailing has it. What does she want? 
don't know. Ask her. Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. We suggest a little deal. How much? Half the selling price. 6.25 million? I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch. Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> He's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. It's done? It's done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. The bomb that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. It's got nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just. just wait! Brady! Help me! Please! What's he going to do with it? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Oh boy. Yeah, they're gonna kill his ass. Both are alive, we're in love, and we got money too. Is there more, or is this the ending? Hey, nice! We got the good ending, and I think that's the true ending too, I believe. I think. That should be the true ending, since everything came into place. And it was all part of Par's plan. Oh man, that was awesome. Yeah, this will definitely be my last video of this game because we got the first video I got was the bad ending and now I got the good ending slash true ending. So I am very happy to end it here. So I'm happy about that. Anyway, I can pause here. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm going to end my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video. I like your game so far. Subscribe to me to see more game videos like these. Um, let me let me know. I'm sorry. Um, comment in the comment section what game should I play next or what FMV game should I play next? Because I'm loving these FMV games. Ooh, I wonder if there's an extra uh cutscene behind the credits though. So let's play out the credits for now. I'm not going to end my video yet. Not yet. David Holt. Hmm.
If they make uh, hmm. If they make another game like this, I'll definitely try to play that. That'll be awesome. Late shift two? Nah. That'll be nah. It's not good to make sequels, especially it's not good to make a sequel off of a good game, because sometimes the sequels end up terribly. Depends on the game though. Catering by these people. Mm, pizza. A pizzeria. Scapegoat Chinese food welcome and Bossa del Breezy. Special thanks to PC Future. And a lot of special thanks to all these awesome people for their open mindedness. <laughs> Professor Dr. Philip Gross. Dr. Phil, Philip, Felix, Dr. Adrian. There's a lot of doctors in the house. Eternal thanks. Focal. Swiss Games. Swiss Arts Council. SRG, SSR, SRF, Sony, and Magic Text Ton Studio. www.lateshiftmovie.com. Late Shift. Your decisions are you. Endings unlocked. Three out of seven. Didn't they have one out of seven? How'd I get one to out of seven to three out of seven? Fifty-one decisions were made. Chapters found. Thirteen out of fourteen. Wait. So there were only thirteen chapters for the good or true ending? Huh. Interesting. I'll try. I'll find out the rest of the chapters on my own. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna end my video here. Thank you guys so much for watching me play this game, and I'll see you on the next video gameplay series. Bye, everyone.